What up, what up, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, it's your boys, welcome back to another Madden 25 Ultimate Team coin game. Today we are um, having a game for 15k coins, so uh, that right there will be a nice little bit of change, and hopefully we can go on ahead and win. Going up against the 92 overall team, so, uh, you know, he definitely got some ballers. Uh, I made a mistake and recorded after I uh, showed his team. Which is, you know, my mistake. So we're unable to go on ahead and take a look at his roster. But nonetheless, you see a 92 overall team. I'm a 93. So you figure he's not too far off of where I am, you know. So uh, hopefully we can just go on ahead and, and be able to win this 15K. And uh, I do end up purchasing a huge addition to the team at the end of this game. You know, um... Now, that's not giving away if I won, you know, um, <clears throat> because when I if I lose, I, it's still enough coins for me to buy what it is I want to buy. So it doesn't even matter win or lose. I still have enough coins to purchase this player. I looked and it was a good deal. So I went ahead and snatched up somebody who was uh, a nice little addition to the team. So as you see, we're down 7-0 immediately. So right now, again, again, just a little worried. You know, uh, he was able to score pretty quickly. So here we go back again. Um, as usual, you know, uh, finding myself in a position where I'm down happens a lot. You know, my defense sucks, so uh, I'm used to this. Right here, we hit him, um, hit him with the run. DeMarco Murray's an absolute stud. The guy is, oh my, Tiger! <laughs> the guy, whoop, hit him with the back juice, though. This guy's, oh my, God, he's so strong, though. Damn, look at, <laughs> look at Murray, though. Look at Murray. The guy is an absolute astronomically biblical beast. The guy is an astronomically biblical beast, though. Yo, the guy just gets the job done. No matter how did you look at it, that's the 91 elite, DeMarco Murray. And the guy puts up, he's a baller. So here we go, man. Back again on defense, man. Hopefully we can go on ahead and, and limit him from scoring, you know. So I do get ball at halftime, which is big. So if I can hold him to a field goal or maybe, you know, stop him altogether and be able to score and get ball at half. Could potentially be game. You know, going up uh, multiple possessions is a huge thing in mud. It's a fumble! But it recovers. It's a huge thing in mud. Because it's only three-minute quarters when you're going up against um, a coin game. So, or a card game or a friend game, whatever it is you want to call it. So, all right, we send a little bit of edge pressure, and he comes screaming off the right side. And we force a fourth and forever. Me, personally, in that situation, I, I would have went for it. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I think that right there is a better situation. Because if you don't get it, I'm very close to the end zone, so that limits my chances of being able to clock. You know, I can't clock four yards away from the end zone. You know what I mean? So, uh, if I score, well, if I was in that position, the other guy, if he scores, I will be able to get the ball back with enough time to be able to retaliate. Now, I have to drive. I'm taking time off of the clock. You see, now he's wasting his timeouts. I feel like going for it would have been a smarter move. Um, if you get it, that's even better. But if you don't, I'm close to the end zone. You know, I'll score, give you another chance to score back. You know what I mean? So, uh, even though I only scored a field goal, like, hey, it kind of worked out for him. You know, he punted, he held you to three. Eh, I get ball at halftime. So, uh, I scored a touchdown. I'm still up two possessions, and it's still going to be tough for him to come back. You know, I think he was better off um, him going for it. Let's say if he doesn't get it, I probably would have scored in one or two plays. Um, he would have enough time to be able to drive downfield, maybe score, tie the game, and we're going to halftime tied. Instead of, you know, him being down. So, um, you know, that's just me. You know, uh, in mud, time is so limited. Like, it would be a tough situation for me to punt. Like, I, you know, in order for me to punt, it would have to be like 4th and 78. <laughs> if it's 4th and 77, I'm going for it, man. You, you got to take advantage of each and every possession. And not to mention, these games have things on the line. So, uh, got, got to try and, and, and move that ball forward, man. You definitely really don't want to give the ball to your opponent you know especially my defense that sucks you know what i mean but i i've always had a good offense you know can't take that away from me whether you think i suck at the game or not uh i know what i'm doing on offense i know i have a good offense just my defense that sucks but um you know when, when you feel like you're going up against somebody who has a good offense you don't want to put the ball in his hands like him he scored on me very easily he's been able to move the ball against me uh I, I, that's just me i wouldn't have been able to pump but um a lot of people ask about fourth down swag. You know, th to me, there's just not enough time to do it in mutt. You know, if I had to punt twice in mutt, that's it. Like, I would probably lose the game because time is just... Like, you can literally 
clock an entire half with no problem. Just because it's only three minutes right here. Oh, look at sweetness, though. Look at sweetness. That man is such a beast, though. So right here, we try to run to the outside. He ends up stopping it. So second and go right here. Fourth quarter is here. Like I said, it's so easy to milk an entire half. We've milked the entire third quarter. Already on our way to milking majority of the, the fourth quarter right here. So fourth and go. Got to go for it. Like I said, man, I trust my offense more than that defense. And look at sweetness coming through, though. Look at my boy Sweetness coming through with the TD. And I was like, whoo. You know, um, big move. But like I said, man, you got to take those offensive chances. Trust your offense over defense, especially when you're me and your defense sucks. You know, I feel more confident about scoring a touchdown right there than me kicking a field goal and not allowing him to score a touchdown for the win. So now we're up two possessions. It's, it's going to be tough for him to come back. You know, he's going to need a score. And get an onside kick. Uh, right there. He throws right up for grabs. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, somebody. No, some of you. Come to me, baby. Come through with the interception. And that right there was big. That right there pretty much puts the game away. Now, he does have three timeouts. So he kind of has, you know, very, very slim chance. He starts calling his timeouts right here. You know, um, got to call plays. You know, can't really need the ball because he has enough timeouts to stop the clock. So, a little less than a minute left, man. We tried a wide receiver screen. That went absolutely nowhere. We roll out right here. We're looking. Nobody's open. Just trying to extend the play right there. But, you know, good thing we wasted a good 10 seconds on that play right here. Uh, just run the ball right here. He doesn't have any more timeouts. And look, yo, we are just demolishing him with this stiff arm. Now, we are going to work. I said we're going to work with this stiff arm, though. So, uh, right here, we just go to a quick uh, triple option. And that right there doesn't get us anything. But that right there is going to be the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. We're going ahead and show that he paid up. And I do purchase a player at the end of this game. But because I want to leave a cliffhanger, because why not? You know? You know what I'm saying? You know? To maybe get you watch the video somewhere. That's why you do cliffhangers, to keep them coming back. You dangle a little bit in front of them, and then you want them to come back. So I want you guys to come back tomorrow to see which player I go on ahead and buy. So, hope you guys, like I said, man, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. You see, he paid up front. Uh, he actually did this before the game started, and we ended up winning 13-5, which is, you know, good. You know, like I said, we go on ahead and buy a dominant player that you guys will see tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.